My name is David Sanchez. Uh, I play saxophone, composer, and play a little percussion. And I've been in the collective for almost nine years. Stevie Wonder, Visions, wow, beautiful. It was arranged by Stefan Harris. We well, had that this uh, flow, I don't know, I feel, you feel like you're like in a wave going or, or you're in the air perhaps. Beautifully arranged and it's just an amazing song. Diane, the Wayne Shorter year, and it was by Rini Rosens. It, it was just amazing, the textures, uh, so refined, so pure, so transparent, beautiful. Lingala, an original composition by Miguel Senon. I remember when I first joined the band, I got a package, and it was a bunch of CDs. I was listening to the first season, and, and I heard this piece starting like, with the vibe, and you know, and it brought me this, this ancestral kind of cadence, and uh, it was Miguel. I really enjoy Amparo, Jobin. Matt Brewer arranged that. It's a song that I wasn't really familiar with, and then later on I, I understood why I wasn't familiar with, you know, that was specifically for a soap opera. And I was like, wow, okay, I kind of heard that before, but I don't know from Jobin, from something else. And then when Matt so clarified, I was like, oh, that's what it is. It's just it's a beauty, beautiful song. Fly with the Wind, the great McCoy Tyner. And Rini was the arranger. The song itself sounds like a chant, like a victory chant, or like a chant of hope. That's how it feels to me, that song. This year, I'm actually writing original composition. The name of the piece is Hacienda y Capataz. Hacienda, the farm and the farm owner. It's inspired in the relationship between the United States and Puerto Rico that has been a very complicated relationship. Almost like, yeah, when you're in a bad relationship, you know, and somebody gets used to it, and, and they say, oh, I mean, you should, you should get out of this relationship, you know, it's, it's abusive, and the person is blind, and they continue with the relationship. That's what the piece is being inspired about, especially after Maria and all these horrible storms and the pandemic, and you put all that stuff together. That simply has amplified some of those conditions, and that's what my piece is about. Mm -hmm. 